Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The time for talk is over as we are just mere moments away from the Super Bowl. Two teams now have a chance to prove they are the best. It's the Chiefs going up against the Falcons. Larry, it has been a tumultuous yet utterly riveting 2018 NFL season. And it all comes to a close here tonight as we welcome you to Super Bowl 53 from two-year-old Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. 50 years after Joe Namath and the guarantee, we are underway in Super Bowl 53. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. Let's go. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. On target over the middle to Hill. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Uh, didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down, avoiding that three and out. How vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback right in the face of him puts him down. Let's go! Green 39! Green 39! Mahomes to throw on second down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Dominique Rogers cromartie And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So they obviously declined that, and it is a touchdown. They still had the option, but let's face it. <laughs> There's no option. There's no option when you score a touchdown. An easy call for them. It's good, and that gives the Falcons a 7 to nothing lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. Start with Hunt on the ground. And he'll be 
taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Well, plenty of credit has to go to the guy carrying the ball. He broke the tackle and gained the yardage. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the defender's bad. They're not going to make 100% of the tackles all the time. Even the best in the game will miss one occasionally. The key is not to let it snowball and miss tackle after tackle. On that play, credit to the offense, but that doesn't make the defense bad. Throwing now is Mahomes. And Hill with it over the middle. And he is going to be knocked flat on his back. Oh, big hit. First and ten, here's Mahomes. He's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. together here from the D-line. Mahomes now on first down. That is caught at the seven. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff. Yeah, when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time. Really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. They'll try to run with Hunt. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A great play there. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They go play action here on first down. They'll roll him out right. Swings it out to the flat for Freeman. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll make it second down. Prescott now. He's going to air one out. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end. Third down here. Well, he decided to air it out a little bit on that play, take a shot downfield, but the coverage was really nice. Able to get a hand in and tip it away. So a third and nine, and six defensive backs out there in the dime. Patrolling the passing lanes. Now the defense definitely showing blitz here. Off the play fake, Prescott. He's got some <laughs> Look at the spin. Balance. And he's going to be marked down deep into Kansas City territory. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That was a nice pickup. Some chunk yardage there. Some of those big yards downfield with a little bit of rack thrown in there, a little run after catch. And it came on a crossing route. I could just hear one of my friends who won four Super Bowls as a quarterback 
always said the same thing. What route does the defense hate? Crossing route. Hate it, hate it, hate it, because it's hard to change direction when they get going full speed in the other way. Prescott on first down. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. They'll throw again. Prescott. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. But the Falcons were able to recover, so they will keep possession. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. First and second down were a disaster. Both went backwards. Now it's third and 18. They need something big. Prescott off play action. Now he's taken down. A chief sack. Justin Houston coming in to drop in for a loss of eight. And it'll be fourth down. And that's the kind of stand all defenses are seeking. Third and goal, backs against the wall, and they get a monster sack. And now they're going to force him into a field goal. For them, that's a win. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So it's a seven-play drive, but it stalls out in the end. Let's credit the defensive front seven. They were a little leaky at the start of the drive, but they stiffened toward the end. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Here we go now. Green 39. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through. Pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. And they've got it here with a first down. fake there to Hunt. Now Mahomes looking downfield for Kelsey. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on at its second down. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field, and really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. Second down following the incompletion. Uh, here we go. Green, 39. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. It's a gain of seven, and that'll make it third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. They'll leave it for Hunt, complete. And he is going to feel that one. Knocked down hard, right at the 45. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Mahomes now on first down. And his throw is incomplete. 
I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. And here comes play number six on this drive. Second down, it's Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had the fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Mahomes to throw once more. And able to find Conley. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they can do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. First down, Mahomes. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it's a second down. throwing on second down and his throw is going to be incomplete he was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time and it'll bring up third down the effort's always going to be there everyone's always going to try and make a catch but underthrown balls I think are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop break and come back and get it throwing his Mahomes on third and an alley to run. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. Give him 13 yards there at a Kansas City first down. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. stay on the ground again it's Hunt and they've got it inside the 10 at the 8 it's a 10 yard gain there and it sets them up now first and goal tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line they didn't just gash him there they blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through I think if he comes back to the huddle he better be 
giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Now here's a whistle as flags come in. And we'll check out the call. The offense on third down, a perfect four for four thus far. This is third and goal. Let's go. Three and Three and now here's Mahomes. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he showcased the spin, but couldn't do much else as he's wrangled down. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. We'll come back on Super Bowl Sunday after this. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And that will knot us up at 10. So the drive takes him inside the 10, but it ends with just three. And a nice job defensively to rise up and make sure they didn't get in. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Dorsett, the man in motion. They just get the playoff. Now Prescott. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. 23 yards on the play. Prescott. And he's got some space here. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Dorsett, the man in motion. Second down, Prescott. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The 
This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Flush to his right. It's caught. Jones. And a broken tackle helps lead to a first down game. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. But that was well defended, and as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. Escaping the pressure right. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The Falcons on third down. They've been okay two for three thus far. This is third and 14. Play action now, Prescott. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. That one didn't quite make it to the target, but that's not always a function of the strength of the arm of the quarterback, is it? Sometimes there's just too much pressure there. In any case, the ball doesn't arrive. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. So we've come upon halftime here in Super Bowl 53. As we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. On first and ten, Prescott. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Falcons. Evan Ingram, 75 yards. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Now a play fake here on first down. He finds an opening past the 40. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. To throw, it's Mahomes. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Let's go. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. 12 yards is the pick up there. And that'll make it third and one. Look, the first down marker is out there. But sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation. Which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it. And boy, the reward was there. A big big pickup and guess what it's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down throwing on first down is Mahomes and he's going to dump this off to his running back Hunt and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16 yard line it'll be a gain of nine and that'll make it second and short in the red zone this time. Mahomes to throw on second down. Steps away to his left. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Snap to Mahomes. Dance into his left. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And the offense is able to pounce on it inside the five-yard line. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Second and goal as the offense looks to try. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Chris Conley, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. And that score there makes this a much more manageable deficit. Agreed, because before that touchdown, this looked like this was about over. Instead, they've got hope. They're back in the game. They feel better about themselves, and now they have a chance to make some more plays. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. 
Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. On play action, Prescott flushed out right. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37th. Give him six on the play, and that'll make it a second down. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes that's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. So the offense readies for a second and four. Now it's Hunt. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. The Chiefs on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and four. Hopper, Hopper, Hopper. Now Mahomes. Eluding the pressure right. Going down the middle and it's complete. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And the young buck showing that ability, that agility to dance outside of the pocket, complete the deep ball. And don't think for a second that the coaching staff didn't have their heart rate accelerate a little bit there, right? Anytime you have those young quarterbacks and they get outside of the pocket, you're just hoping that they make good decisions because so many things to... And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. Uh, he's giving him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Falcons. They'll have the football, but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth. So second and nine, the defense looking to put them in a bad spot here. Oh, 
The former Indiana Hoosier here, Tevin Coleman. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. Off the play fake, Prescott flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there, and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. Prescott now from the 50. Quick hitter here, it's complete. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Prescott on first down. Coleman has it here right side. And he gets it down to the 32. Call it a three-yard game, and it'll bring up a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. So the offense now dealing with a second and seven. Now Prescott. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. The Falcons on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and eight. Prescott off play action. He's got Sanu. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. Defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were in the dime work out there. I think maybe. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. J.J. Nelson from three yards out. And the Falcons have taken the lead here in the fourth. Didn't have anything downfield. Swung it out to the flat. He did the rest. Such a staple of so many offenses we see now. You know, in our discussions with offense coordinators, how many times do they tell us, hey, this offense is designed for either a touchdown or a check down. We saw the check down on that play, and boy, was it successful. We saw a touchdown, too. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field.
Mahomes now on first down. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away and it's second down. And on second and ten now. Mahomes going to throw. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. From midfield, here's Mahomes. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Vic Beasley coming in from that outside linebacker spot to bury him for a loss of seven. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. On second down, here's Mahomes. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. With no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, it's going to be hot routes if they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback. They've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case, ah, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. Buying time to his left. And avoids the contact by sliding. Give him 10 yards there and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Time for a break. We're back to perhaps crown a champion after this. Prescott looks to throw on first. His throw incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target, and now it's second down. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. Yeah, really turned it loose, didn't he? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. On second down, Freeman might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. The Falcons on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and nine. They'll run it now out of the gun. A great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps them pick up the first. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They'll run it now out of the gun. He will push his way down to about the 14. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Second down following the run. Prescott here to throw. They'll set up the screen for Freeman. A great move in there, but it only takes him to the seven. He's dropped there. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. 
for a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. to the nine. He lost two and it brings up fourth. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackler. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. So they get the three here, but you wonder whether that's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, you've now made it so they need a touchdown rather than a field goal to catch them. But you're right. If they'd gotten six out of that drive, this would be a much different game. And now here comes Kansas City. One possession game. <laughs> Time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. A gain of six there on first. Ten seconds to go. He's been quiet today in the passing game. Just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him. You know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And it's over. The Lombardi Trophy belongs to the Falcons. Yes, the Atlanta Falcons are the Super Bowl champions. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi Trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That The task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever. year just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports